Hello students, welcome to the business law class video. Today we are going to discuss recent trends in banking system in India. So let's start. Indian economy is witnessing path breaking reform measures. So Indian banking system also is changing day by day as we can experience from the banking system. Nowadays, uh, because of the COVID-19 also, we have we, we have been staying at home. We are, we are forced to stay at home. For the last six months, all of us were inside our home most of the time. And we took a lot of precaution not to gather socially because of the pandemic and to avoid uh, infection from each other banks have been also staying away from the public they were also uh, till now they are they are taking precaution they are taking all the measures to see that no public is gathered in one place in a crowded form and to avoid infection of covid-19 similarly banking are also adopting new and new features with the help of information technology so that bank can reach you at your doorstep. So nowadays we can experience that with the help of technology we are we, we are seldom visiting banking uh, bank uh, banks because uh, nowadays we are, we are conducting all the transactions online or if you want to withdraw money, we have ATM cards, debit cards, credit cards, all sort of things are available for us, made available by our Reserve Bank of India. And if we can, by staying at home, we can bank. That means I can, I can transfer my money to anyone with the app application of my bank. I can <clears throat> monitor my account. I can see what is my balance. I can even uh, even pay my electricity bill. I can pay my insurance. I can pay my EMI. I can recharge my mobile. I can do all sorts of things with the help of technology. But that is the recent trends in bank. Okay, so let us continue. India, Indian banks have adopted the internationally accepted prudent norms. Nowadays, we can, we can bank with the help of technology with the foreign banks also. So RBI also has facilitated us to deal with foreign banks. Right? Uh, of course, with the help of international uh, norms. With higher disclosure and transparency, Indian banking industry is gradually moving towards adopting the best practices in accounting, corporate governance, and risk management. Then, during the last 41 years, since 1969, tremendous changes have taken place in the Indian banking system. The banks have been improving, innovating, accepting new and new kind of uh, advanced services to cater to the emerging trends or the needs of the customers. It has done the same uh, in the following manner that is massive branch expansion in rural and underdeveloped areas, mobilization of savings and diversification of credit facilities to the neglected areas like small-scale industrial sector, agriculture and other preferred areas like export sector etc. This has resulted in widening and deepening of the financial infrastructure. So this is how the banking sector is reaching to those areas which were kept, <clears throat> which were away from any kind of financial dealings or transactions. All of them had to come to city and uh, I mean, start their bank account and they. I mean, it was very difficult for them to manage because there was no bank in their village. Nowadays we find 
all kinds of banks in rural areas also right and with the help of technology even today i mean for, uh, even the farmer can conduct online transaction okay with the help of the training given by the bankers right recent trends in banking we will see the first kind of recent trend is electronic payment services which is also called as e checks now i'll tell you how it works when we take a loan from a particular bank it accepts one or two blank checks from us now that check will be converted into an electronic check and then that will be presented on the day the due date on which our emi is to be deducted from our account that is called as e checks electronic checks are exactly the same a replica of the original check right okay so nowadays we are hearing about e governance e mail e commerce e tail right etc in the same manner new technology is being uh, developed in, in the united states for introduction of e check which have eventually replaced the conventional paper check nowadays we don't use paper check in america at least in india they are still using but in maybe in the future we will be do away with the paper check and everything will be done online nowadays we are adopting that because of the covid 19 because nobody wants to handle that check okay because of uh, we need to sanitize again and then save ourselves from infection it has already amended the negotiable instrument act to include truncated check and e check instruments earlier it was not there next real time gross settlement rtgs you must be hearing this rtgs now rtgs has a facility is used whenever you want to transfer amount more than 1 lakh rupees within 1 lakh rupees you can use any ft okay so the rtgs has been introduced in india in march 2004 in this system an electronic instructions can be given by banks to transfer funds from their account to account of another bank rtgs system is maintained and operated by reserve bank of india as the name suggests funds transfer between banks take place on a real time basis and uh, suppose for example if i a wants to transfer uh, his money from his account from his bank to b b's bank who is in mumbai any branch so he has to go to the bank fill that form of rtgs fill all the details of that particular person account number all those things and then hand it over to the bank the bank has to within 2 hours credit that amount into the beneficiary's account that is called as rtgs we also have something called as electronic fund transfer which is also called as neft that eft is a system where by anyone who wants to make payment to another person company or company can approach his bank and make cash payment he has to put all those details of the receiver's account it should be furnished to the bank at the time of requesting for such transfer so that the amount reaches the beneficiary's account correctly and faster rbi gives this service of eft ecs electronic clearing service ecs is ecs is meant for companies and government departments to make or receive large volumes of payments rather than for funds transfer by individual we also have atm which is called as sometimes jokingly it is called as anytime money but actual name or actual abbreviation of that atm is automatic teller machine now atm is the most popular device in india which enables the customers to withdraw their money 24 hours that is 7 days a week it is a device that allows customer who has an atm card to perform routine banking transaction without interacting with a human teller so he need not go to the bank that's why i said initially that we have stopped visiting banks because of these facilities that we have now i can withdraw money at any time i want even with the help of the application of my bank i can transfer money even at midnight i will get that otp automatically one time password and then 
I have to just say okay by checking all the information that I have given is correct. If I say yes, within minutes the money gets transferred to the, uh, the beneficiary's account. So in addition to cash withdrawal, ATMs can be used for payment of utility bill, fund transfer between accounts, deposit of checks and cash into accounts, balance and so on. Then point of sale terminal is another service. It is a computer terminal that is linked online to the computerized customer information files in a bank and magnetically encoded plastic transaction card that identifies the customer to the computer. So we need to require some plastic card and with that plastic card, transaction can be conducted. We have something called as telebanking. Telebanking facilitates uh, the customer to do entire non-cash related banking on telephone. So just uh, you, you need to use your telephone. Okay. Then electronic data interchange EDI is the electronic exchange of business documents like purchase order, invoices, shipping noise, uh, notices, receiving devices, etc. Is a, it is a standard of computer process, universally accepted format between trading partners. So it, it, it is used mainly in business. What are the challenges faced by the banks? The Indian banks are subject to tremendous pressure to perform as otherwise their very survival would be at stake. That means the sooner uh, the faster the bank adopts the latest technology, the faster it will develop itself and will keep pace with the changing scenario or changing technology in banking system. As an extreme case of banking, worldwide banking, that is WWB, on the pattern of WWW can be utilized. So nowadays, the uh, banking transition can take place via satellite. So there is no need to have large number of physical bank branches. In the future, there won't be any kind of banking, um, uh, physical banking. Like for example, there won't be any bank as such physically existing on this earth. Everything will be done automatically. Just like how we send our messages automatically on email or we send messages through our mobile. We can transfer or we can deal with our banking transaction with the help of satellite technology. So in, in, in coming future, there won't be any physical building of any bank existing. So you just wonder how wonderful it will be. But at the same time, there will be increase in criminal activities also because some of the antisocial elements will indulge in cyber crimes. And, and there are a lot of question of jurisdiction then how to catch these culprits all those things the law enforcement agency has to keep vigilant you know and one step ahead than the criminal then only the enforcement agency will be able to catch hold of the, those culprits IT and banking. Indian banking industry today is in the midst of an IT revolution. So we are still developing. So with the technology, there must be regulation. And to keep up with the competition, we need to keep in check our Information Technology Act. So IT Act is the only cyber law in India which takes care of e-governance, e-commerce, as well as cyber crimes. The bank which use the right technology to supply timely information will see the productivity increase. That means what? Only that bank will survive which will adopt the latest technology. This is the machine that we all know a very popular ATM machine. We also know debit cards. There are so many kinds of cards issued by so many banks. Then check cards. We also have charge cards. That means with these cards you can recharge or charge. These are uh, usually given in the shopping malls 
so that in the future you come you will get some kind of offer or benefits or concession you can also have these cards uh, uh, issued by the petroleum company where you can encash i mean where you can uh, you can swipe the card and you'll get some benefit of if you if you feel uh, petrol in that particular uh, at that particular petrol pump then smart cards are also used for certain purpose now globalization of banking globalization has emerged as a prime mover in the indian banking system this has come about as a result of policy of liberalization so due to liberalization and globalization india had to adopt the foreign bank system and it had to go globally so foreign banks were allowed by rbi to get uh, its uh, branch established in india reciprocally that means what similar uh, i mean similarly the the foreign country must also allow our branch to be established in their country then only the, their branches will be allowed to be established in india that is called as globalization satellite banking satellite banking is an upcoming technological innovation in the indian banking industry it is expected to help in solving the problem of weak terrestrial communication links in many parts of the country the use of satellite for establishing connectivity between branches will help banks to reach rural and hill areas so satellite will in future are going to u- to be used by the banking to do banking transactions to allow the facilities to be used by the villagers in those areas in which it is very difficult to get internet connection or range technological development with the advancement of technology and the birth of competition banks are in the race of becoming the best in the country the advancement in technology has helped the banks to reduce the workload nowadays you can see if you go to the bank you will see all the bank officials are sitting idle nowadays because there is no rush in the bank of course there is no rush because of the covid-19 for the last 6 months but before that after the uh, establishment of the electronic banking system you see that the bankers have got little work to do but whenever you visit the bank for some purpose they would ask you don't you have an atm card why don't you just withdraw money from the atm card why are you coming here <laughs> then jokingly we have to tell them that sir at least once you do something for us in the bank let me uh, let me feel that slip withdrawal slip let me hand it over to you with my passbook let the token come into my hand so that i can wait for my call whenever you will call with the help of the token number i'll come to the counter then you will hand over the money to me sometimes i do this okay anyway but that is not required now because everything has changed technology has changed everything technology has allowed us to do the banking uh, banking transaction right from our home i did not visit any bank phone banking pick up your phone and access the host bank now i have an app of my yuko bank whenever i need to transfer money i just pick up the phone put uh, the details of the beneficiary and just say yes it goes online banking we already discussed this features of online banking online banking usually offers such features such as bank statements electronic bill payment fund transfer loan application and transactions such as repayment account aggregation all those things there is something called as banker assurance banker assurance is the term used to describe the sale of insurance products in a bank that means what you get banking also at the same time your 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 money will be insured sometimes whenever the bank gives you loan it also allows you to enter into a contract with insurance company so that if something happens to you the bank can recover the amount from the insurance company that is called as 
bank assurance and that's how it goes okay so it, it fits perfectly here that means bank need not worry about the repayment of the loan whenever there is insurance company it will take care of it core banking solutions for example they have uh, a, a particular bank its head office will be somewhere in Mumbai, Calcutta, Delhi but its branches will be all over all over the country so whatever wherever you go in any branch you can have suppose you have an account at Kolhapur it is not necessary that you need to enter into a transaction only in Kolhapur if, if I happen to be in Goa I'll go to the branch of my bank and I can conduct my transaction right from that branch itself. I need not come to Kolhapur and go back to Goa. That is called as core banking solutions. So whatever will be your status, whatever will be your information will be known by each and every branch in this country with the help of that core banking system. So we can conclude by saying that Indian banking system will further grow in size and complexity with acting while acting as an important agent of economic growth. The future of banking will offer more sophisticated services to the customers. Therefore, there is a paradigm shift from the seller's market to buyer's market in the industry. And the finally, and finally, it affected at the banker's level to change their approach from conventional banking to convenience banking and mass banking to class banking. The shift has also increased the degree of accessibility of the common man to bank for his variety of needs. Adoption of stringent prudent norms, better risk management, adoption of international accepted accounting practices and increased disclosure and transparency will ensure the Indian banking industry keep pace with other developed banking systems. Thank you so much and see you in our next class.